I really like hunting for XSS because it's everywhere and you can a lot of times escalate a sublime XSS if you dig around the application too much. I, I like to find SSRF stuff because it's really, really fun. And then the next one is like IDOR, logical and authorization vaults. It's like I put them all into a one bucket now. It's like the your authorization issues. Those are the three that I go to. That's my favorite thing to do. But I didn't get there overnight, right? I started with, you know, XSS, for example. Then I learned about IDOR. Then uh, I learned about authorization stuff. And then I was like, okay, this is like a little too easy to find. It's going to bring you phase away. Let's look for server side stuff that could be interesting because we can also get inside of like a company's network. So that's, I think, those are the things that you learn. And then you learn all these other vulnerabilities. Like a CSRF for a bug bounty, it, you can you can report a CSRF, but... Is it worth it? Not really, but I still have it because sometimes you might find a, a chain, for example, that you can use the CSRF that could raise the impact, right? Like a self access with CSRF, for example, you can maybe do that for a better impact, but you just learn these other ones that are not your main focus and you use them for your desperate times or you just passively look for them as you're doing your bug hunting. And that's kind of what I do with, you know, when I look for bugs is I want these three, but, you know, I also know everything else, but I've learned them as I go. But my focus is I really have mastered these three to four of one types. And then everything else is just depends on the program.